Hey guys, so today I have a new video for you all that I'm really excited about for two reasons. First reason, obviously I'm excited because it's a new video and I haven't done a hair tutorial in a really long time and I thought it was time to share some more of my favorite heatless hairstyles. And number two, because I'm announcing to you guys that I'm working with a cause that I'm so, so, so passionate about. So let me tell you a little bit about it. If you turn to page 49, you will see me. Yeah, and it's announcing that I am working with Pantene with their Beautiful Lengths program and I'm so incredibly excited. Now if you guys didn't know what Pantene Beautiful Lengths does is it's a program that distributes wigs to women who have lost their hair due to cancer. Now I don't know if you guys know this but I talked about it in the article. My mom actually battled cancer when I was in fifth grade and though she was lucky enough to never have lost her hair, I really noticed and was surrounded by a lot of women who were helping my mom out which kind of made me growing up know that I really wanted to have a strong sense of community and a strong sense of a female bond with my friends and the people that I really care about and I love. I just think it's completely awesome that the Pantene program inspires all these women to grow, cut, and donate their hair to create these real free wigs for women who are undergoing cancer treatment. To date, more than 600,000 hair donations have been made, which have been turned into 34,000 real hair wigs, and those wigs are distributed through select American Cancer Society wig banks. Now, I have color treated and dyed hair, so unfortunately, I can't donate my hair, but I thought the next best thing was letting you guys know that on November 22nd, National Donate Your Hair Day is coming up. So if you've always wanted an excuse to go for a blunt bob or you know somebody who's been through cancer, helping somebody out by donating your hair would be absolutely amazing, and November 22nd gives you the perfect excuse. Now that that's all said and done, let's get on into the three hateless hairstyles. First, let's start off with what's currently going on with my hair. About two days ago, I washed my hair with the Pantene Beautiful Length Shampoo and Conditioner, which I've been using. I really want to grow my hair out longer, and it makes my hair feel soft and nice and pretty and lovely and great. And there's just some days where you don't want to put heat on your hair again. Or there's some days where you've just washed your hair and you let it air dry and you don't want to put heat on it in the first place. So, these are some hairstyles for you. So this first hairstyle is a super simple ponytail, but it has a little bit of a twist in it to make your hair appear fuller and thicker and longer, which I like when my hair looks like that. I do. First, what you're gonna wanna do is separate your hair into two sections. Make sure you go from the corner, right from your ear up to kind of create an arch. Yada da, yada da. Now taking a clear elastic, I'm going to secure the ponytail. Put the regular ponytail up, and then take this bottom section and create another ponytail underneath this one. And now, when you flip this one down, your ponytail looks extra long. So we're gonna tease them together because it makes the whole look look a lot more natural. And that is the finished ponytail. So as you guys can see, instead of just having one ponytail up and having your hair look a little bit shorter, adding two creates more volume, it looks a little more edgy, and it makes your ponytail look long and luscious, like a real pony, nay. Now for hairstyle number two, this one is super simple and you can actually use it really on any length of hair, which I think is awesome. I absolutely adore this one. So what we're gonna do is start by sectioning our hair off into three equal sections. Now I'm gonna start with this back section right here and honestly, all I'm going to do is loosely braid it. Now taking a clear elastic, I'm going to secure that onto the very end. You could leave it like this and just have like a rat tail. If you wanna get fancy, you could do a fishtail braid or a rope braid, but you know, I like to keep it basic like the rest of my existence. And finally, we're doing the same to this side. Now that we've got these three really trendy braids, I'm gonna start by loosening them all up a bit. So I'm gonna start with the section on this side and I'm going to fold it across the back of my neck, fold it again, and twist this little part that's not braided underneath the braid part and secure it with some bobby pins. Next, taking the middle section, I'm just going to wrap that around and again, tuck in the part that's not braided and hide the elastic. Secure it with bobby pins. And finally, taking this last section and doing the same thing. And that is the final look. <laughs> So now I'm gonna pull a couple of pieces down on either side. It just makes it a little softer and looks less harsh. Plus I've got a very round face and very funny looking ears. So we kind of try and hide that little bit. 
That is it for this hairstyle. Super easy. Plus, I think it looks kind of nice enough that if you wanted to wear it to like a homecoming dance, super romantic to match my new boyfriend. Do so? Not do so. The last and final hairstyle, which is the absolute easiest one because you know what? We're using every girl's secret weapon when you don't want to use heat on your hair. A hat. So first what you're going to want to do is separate your hair into two sections. You can do a middle part, side part, whatever you prefer. Take a screenshot. I'm actually going to do a really loose fishtail braid. My hair is in two sections here and taking a section from the outer side of this section, I'm crossing it over into the inner side of the other section. And I'm honestly just going to do the same thing. Outer side of section one to inner side of section two. Outer side of section one, inner side of section two. It's tedious, it's a lot of handwork, but I have faith in you all. And now I'm gonna go to the end of the hair, even though I didn't do the fish tail braid all the way down, and secure it with a clear elastic. Because you gave it some extra room at the bottom, it makes loosening it a whole lot easier. And now on to the other side. What would you do if I just like switched it up and I was like, now put this in a bun and ba bam Not cute? Not cute. Good to know. Pretty sure you guys get the hang of it, so I'm just gonna finish braiding. Now that this braid's also done, I'm gonna do the same thing, secure it, and then I'm gonna go through and pull this one apart too. Not like apart apart, like don't take it out, like don't reverse all the hard work you just did. Now that the braids are done, we want to spruce it up and add a little more pizzazz with the hat. Now I'm gonna go and take some of these pieces near my face out to just frame my face, and that is it. And that is it for the third and final hairstyle. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and those three super, super easy heat hairstyles. Okay guys, don't forget to check out the Pantene Beautiful Lengths program. I'm going to have the link to the website along with a bunch more information in the description box below and mark your calendars for November 22nd. Donate your hair money. Okay guys, I will see you next time. I love you oodles and oodles and oodles of all the noodles, even though I can't really eat noodles. <gasps> bye bye.